Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, of late, I've been letting you know that Microsoft has been tweaking and adjusting different components of Microsoft Edge to take on a more kind of Google Chrome look and feel. And this obviously is due to the ongoing browser wars between Edge and Chrome. And especially in the settings department in preview, as I have been posting lately, where things are starting to look a lot more in the preview versions of the browser, a lot more like Chrome than what they do in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. Now, in regards to this, oh, and by the way, that's just another bug in Canary, which is common. And I'll leave a video I posted the other day, just on a side note regarding this is what a real browser bug looks like, um, if you'd like to go check that out. Now, another area where it seems that Microsoft is trying to make the browser a little bit more like Google Chrome is if we head over to Chrome, if you have a toolbar button pinned, you can see if you right click, you've got unpin and customize toolbar. Now, if we head to the stable version of Microsoft Edge and I do the same, we can see things are looking a little bit different. You've got customized toolbar, hard from toolbar, and then open history page. Now, if we head back to Edge Canary and I do the same, we can see we've got customized toolbar and unpin. Very similar to what we get in Google Chrome. The only difference is that unpin is at the top and customized toolbar is at the bottom in Google Chrome. And this is for most of the toolbar shortcuts. So you can see there, customize, unpin. So you can unpin that directly, just clicking on the relevant um, entry. Now, this is a feature that I've actually been waiting for in my region in preview for quite some time. And I only noticed today that it became available. So I think by now, this could be well down the dev beta channel of Microsoft Edge. So there is a good chance that this could be coming to the stable version. I don't see why it wouldn't. I actually think it looks and feels a lot better to the existing um, layout we get in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. Not really a big change, but I think it is small and significant, as I would say. And if I get knowledge that this is rolled out to stable, obviously, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.